This is a playground for a new breed of criminals, invisible hackers who use the internet to destroy lives, cripple companies, and spy on governments. You got hackers now that are 65, 70 years old, all the way down to 14. Some create viruses, others steal your identity, rob banks, or even attack a government's defenses, all with just a few keystrokes. Who are they? FBI computer scientist Samuel Sutton puts hackers into three categories. You might get some 10, 11, 12 year olds uh, that, that will do something like this. Police call them script kitties, young hackers who send some of the viruses that can infect your computer. Motives are usually it's cool, it impresses their friends. The next group of cyber criminals is more sophisticated. They're looking for databases of personal information that they can use in future scams. It is the third group of hackers that can cause the most damage. There are actual professional hackers who sit there and have um, concentrated targets. Targets like major corporations and even national defense agencies. The crimes are on the rise. Um, there are people being recruited, you know, KGB style, out of colleges. Mark Melanson is a hacker who defends the cyber world. He hacks into companies with their permission, finds holes in their cybersecurity, and patches them. There's millions, if not billions, to be made, not necessarily by the hacker. But by mobsters who find cybercrime a lucrative business and hire computer experts to help them launder money. If you were a mafioso type person who's going to run an organization, what better way to run your organization? but through the internet. With just a computer, a criminal can commit a crime anywhere. They can easily hack into a system, either from this cafe with Wi-Fi in downtown Houston or from the other side of the world. In some cases, it's possible to catch them, but it's not necessarily feasible to convict them. Why is that? Well, because they cover their track. Erasing the evidence, but even when there is a conviction, the punishments don't seem to fit the crime. The FBI says the longest known U.S. prison sentence for a hacker who spreads viruses is four years and nine months. You might work a case for six months to a year, and the person actually gets less time than you worked on the case. Um, that's not uncommon. With little or no consequence and a lot of money to be made, police expect the number of computer attacks to increase as more criminals discover the cyber world. Elizabeth Lee, CW 39 News.